Hi, it's Rob Moore here. Now I'm recording this video for you in my kids' playroom. Now, three seconds ago, exactly, this room was beautifully clean and they've typhooned their way around it and whizzed off to school. So the reason I'm shooting this video from this room is because I get asked a lot nowadays, how can parents or will be in the future parents teach their kids about property, personal development, business, making money, finances, happiness, positivity, vision and legacy. You know, all the things they should teach in school, but they never do. And I've got four or five tips for you that I think will really help. Now, first things, uh, of course, it depends on the age of them. If they're one or if they're 18, it's slightly different. But I think the thing to remember is from the age of zero to seven, uh, it's been scientifically tested, discovered, maybe proven that that is our imprint stage where our brain is the most malleable to learning. You know, when we copy all the time at that age and where all the our habits and personalities are mostly formed, so that's, I believe, a really important age to get them started. So here's a few things you can do. Number one is get audio, you know, your Audible collection, your CDs from Nightingale Conan, all of your personal and business and money making CDs and audios that you listen to. Get them in your kids' heads anywhere and everywhere. If you can play it to them before they go to sleep, maybe. Some people think that's extreme, but hey, I think that's better than playing the radio. Get it on in the car. When you're going to and from school, it might be an hour a day. I mean, one hour a day, seven hours a week. You know, that's a lot of valuable education. Now, at first they may resist. So I remember when I first started putting personal development audio on, it was before Bobby was born, when he was in mummy's womb. And mummy was a bit resistant at first. We were playing Zig Ziglar's How to Raise Positive Kids in a Negative World. And then when Bobby was one and I'd take him in my cars, I'd put Tony Robbins on. And he was resistant at first. He wanted the kind of music or what's this? Uh, and then I remember one time I didn't play it and, and we got in the car and he said, I want Tony on, Daddy, I want Tony on. So I, I realised then it was really working. So that's one thing you can do. You could get 10 hours a day of valuable positive in information into your children's brains. How powerful is that? The next thing is the stories that you tell them. So stories throughout the day, analogies that you teach them, stories before bed, stories when they get up, when their minds are most malleable uh, and open-minded to uh, the habitual learning. You can read them the stories that you read them, but add sort of the lessons and the education that you want them to learn through the stories. Because you know what it's like as a parent, they resist everything you do because you're mummy or daddy. So that's something that's really valuable to do. The next thing is you want them learning about money from a very young age, counting money, you know, holding money, touching money, uh, rewarding them with money for jobs they do, like tidying this room. Uh, or, you know, I get Bobby to putt and he gets one P for one in, two P for two in, uh, 5p for 3 in and so on. It really motivates him to do it, but it gets him counting money, understanding the value of money, learning about money, learning to earn money, learning not to waste money. So I think that's really valuable too. So two more things as they get a bit older. One, take them around everything that you do. Seminars, you know, get them to watch videos on, on YouTube and online that you're learning. Get them involved in what you're doing in your personal development and your sort of learning to make more money and make a difference. Take them along with you. Drag them at first. They'll soon get used to it. And then I think the fifth thing, you, fifth, fifth thing you can do is get them other mentors, friends and, and experts that you know around you in your circle, maybe that mentor you to spend time with them because you know that they can resist you more than anyone else. So like in golf, Bobby has a golf coach and often he listens to them more and he listens to his teachers more than me because I'm there all day, every day. He takes me for granted. So get the mentors early and get them used to it. So I hope this kind of different video has really helped you, help your kids make more money, make a difference, become more positive and learn all the stuff they should be teaching you in school.